Welcome back, everybody. We're coming up on a really big weekend. Of course, Labor Day weekend, Monday's off. So what are you going to do this weekend to maybe get out, get the kids out, and maybe kind of learn a little bit more about your neighbors out there? Rochelle Long with the uh, Multicultural Festival, coming back for its sixth year now over in West Des Moines, is in to tell us a little bit about this year's festival, kind of uh, let us know what's happening new this year. And for those of you that don't know what it's all about, good morning and thanks for being here. Good morning. So six years going strong. It really is. I uh, have a lot of volunteers working behind the scenes getting ready for a two-day event. Friday night, The Junction Speaks. It's history, storytelling. Um, there'll be a lot of different cultures, different cuisines. Uh, on the Friday night event, it's from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Eddie Davis Community Center, 1312 Maple Street. Uh -huh. And then Saturday, uh, we'll take it to the street at the Railroad Park Pavilion from 2 to 10. We'll have food trucks, uh, vendors, um, fun for the kids. It's a mm -hmm. family. It's, both events are free and open to the public. Uh, there'll be face painting, inflatables. Uh, it's the just bounce gonna... houses are what get the kids. Yes. You, they, they will come. Kids will show up. Yes. Hopefully with their parents and supervision. Uh, so what type of cultures are we expecting here for folks that uh, it kind of lets people know just what's represented here in our community, and it's quite diverse. Absolutely. Now, uh, the Valley Junction area was historically so diverse. We just grew up that way, mm -hmm. and we thought it was normal. And so every year, we invite people to come back. So it's a mix of Italian-Americans, Serbians, mm -hmm. African-Americans, uh, Latinos. We all grew up together. Mm -hmm. And so once a year, Labor Day weekend, we invite everyone to come back and recreate that spirit. Yeah. Yes. What a great way to get to know your neighbors and people that make this place that we live in great. Yes. Well, you gave us the info as far as uh, how much it costs. We're talking zero dollars here. I still don't know how you do it. But uh, but it's also kind of a, what you want to spend there on the food and stuff is totally up to you, right? Is that kind of how it works? Yes. Um, the Friday night event is a potluck style, the storytelling and the oral history. So you okay. can come in and enjoy all the cultures and cuisines. Now, is that set or do you want people to bring dishes? No, it's set. Okay, you know. so you don't have to worry about bringing any food. No, you just can come just, and enjoy. just enjoy. So potluck style. Yes. I like the sound of that Friday. Uh -huh. And then Saturday is more of the, you said food trucks? Yeah, we have the food trucks. Okay. out there and there'll be a variety of food we have a variety mix of vendors coming and so you get a to taste all the different cuisines there'll be barbecue okay. chicken fish done done and done Rochelle thank you so much for coming in and giving us something fun to do this weekend thank you you bet go on check it out everybody short break much more ahead